Wow. I mean, wow. This is hot. I mean, really, really, really hot. <laughs> Talking about a, 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 a calendar here that's got firefighters in it. Not Jason so much for me is, is Jill. They're local firefighters here in the Seattle area. And uh, we are raising money for the WSCFF Burn Foundation the other night on September 11th. And I have to thank Lily Jang from Q13 for organizing that tweet up. She did a fantastic job. And for donations, uh, we were recipients of these calendars. And some of the firefighters actually autographed the calendars. See, now, it's, it's more appropriate to say firefighters because, of course, there are both male and females. You couldn't call a, a female a fireman, at least not the, uh, the females here on this team. And they are working for us, and your firefighters are working for you. And the reason why I'm bringing up this calendar is not because I, you know, I'm going to do anything with it in this particular video, but it's a nice segue to a top 10 list, fire safety tips, as submitted by Silver Joa. Now, he thought this was appropriate because what are we surrounded by? Things that can catch fire, most likely. Not just cloth, of course, but any kind of electronic equipment. So, uh, with that, uh, he's got top five fire prevention tips to pass along, how to avoid starting a fire. Number one, have modern electrical wires. That's a big deal, guys. I don't know if you know that. I've got a chat room over here. Hopefully, they're playing nicely. <clears throat> Not having modern electrical wires means that if you uh, put more than three kilowatts on a wire, and then it'll sometime in the future burn out and may cause a fire. I've seen it happen. It's dangerous. Uh, I don't know, you know, if that's at, at wait, wait a minute, three thousand watts, not three kilowatts. That's you know, maybe, or is that one and the same? Apparently, I need to bone up on my science. Number two, be careful when cooking, or you know. Be like me and avoid cooking altogether. Don't throw water on burning oil. Instead, use baking soda, a fire extinguisher, or a fire blanket. Throwing water into burning oil causes it to explode, showering you with the burning oil. That's really bad. Number three, don't smoke inside. Or, better yet, don't smoke. Smoking inside is a very common killer in homes. Just make sure you get rid of the cigarette properly. There's that way, there's no chance of lighting something else. Um, you know, what I've seen people do is that they drown the cigarette in some kind of liquid. Not likely oil, but, you know, water. That'll suffice. Number four, don't use old electronics. Especially don't leave them on for the night. They might short out, overheat the wires, and cause a fire. So, if your computer is older, and by older I don't mean like six months old, I'm talking like, you know, 10 to 20 years old if it's older than me. Gosh, I don't even know if there are any computers out there older than me. I'm pretty damn old. Either way, keep an eye on what's going on on a regular basis. And if you want to watch out for your computer, be sure to clean your computer out every six months to a year because dust collects and accumulates and, and causes computers to overheat. That's any computer, uh, either six months old or two months or two days or six years. Number five, use fire-resistant building materials. That's simple. That's easy. Then he, he goes on. He's got five ways to deal with a fire when it has started. So hopefully if a fire started, you aren't Googling, you know, fire safety or prevention tips because it's likely too late and you would have had to fast forward to this part of, of, of the video. You guys playing along nicely over there? All right. Number, number one, have a smoke detector or series of them. Not having one will mean that at night your chances of survival are around 5%. Smoke kills you, not the fire. Important. Maintain your smoke detector, change the batteries when they get low on juice, and usually they admit, uh, uh, emit a beeping sound when that happens. kind of drives you nuts if you don't know where the beeping is coming from. And I have so many electronics around here, I just don't know what's beeping anymore. Number, and and he, he goes on, he says, change older than 10-year-old smoke detectors, clean them, or dust if possible, use a vacuum cleaner. The test button on smoke detectors, in my opinion, just lets you know that it makes a sound, not that it detects smoke. For that, you can use fake smoke spray cans. Do not use candles or other burning material. It will clog up the detector. That's important if you're doing testing. Uh, number two, have a fire blanket or a fire extinguisher, kind of looping back up to the first one. For example, you have a fire in the kitchen. The oil in your pan is burning. What do you do? No, you don't stop, drop, and roll, dick, roll, because the, the pan is the thing on fire, not you. And, well, you start searching for baking soda, just take out the glass, glass fiber fire blanket and kill the fire. It's bad to know you have a fire in the house, but it's good to know you're able to extinguish it. Number three, what to do when the fire is too big to extinguish it yourself, when you can't escape from your house, other than close, uh, if you can't escape from your house, close the door. 
from where the fire is coming from. Seal it with a wet rag, open the window, and let others know you're there. Don't hide in closets or under your bed. It's good to have an escape ladder when you're on the first floor or higher. Number four, when the smoke has reached you, then always stay near the bottom of the floor or the window. There will always be a pocket of clean air. This can save your life. Number five, don't be a hero. Don't jump out of a multi-story building. It's just not worth it. It's better to climb than to jump. And he adds a, another note here, never ever take a smoke detector off your ceiling. I've had experience that once it was really annoying when it beeped all the time. This was because we had placed it in the kitchen, so we took it off. Two weeks later, someone set fire to our house. And what, to, what do you know, we woke up at, last, at the last time possible and just managed to escape from a burning house. It'd be nice if you could record and upload it to YouTube. I can't unfortunately watch you do it live, at least, because he's seven hours behind me. Uh, he's known as Silver in the chat room. So, Silver... Thank you so much uh, for these tips. Certainly do appreciate it. We have to stay mindful of these things. If you don't have a fire extinguisher, if you haven't checked the expiration date on your fire extinguisher, do. If you're a geek, you got to have the right equipment because you never know what's going to happen. Bad stuff could potentially happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good thing when bad stuff happens. Protect yourself. It's a smart thing. And, of course, you know, if you have an opportunity, donate. Uh, or, you know, even, even if you can't do that, next time you see a public official, go up and thank them. They appreciate it. They really, really do. I mean, if that's all you can do, that's the least you can do. You never know. They may save your life one day. They may save the life of someone that you know someday. Or even if you don't know them, you know they're saving lives. My email address, chris at perillo.com, if you have any other prevention tips, especially of the geekier variety. And, of course, you're welcome to stop by our community, geeks.perillo.com. Plenty of things to do there, uh, although the website will not likely cause any kind of fires, at least not that I know of. Of course, we've also got the chat room, which is typically talking tech right here. They've been uh, providing colorful commentary because, see, their handles here are in color. I don't know if it was color commentary, but I know it was colorful. And where there's smoke, there's fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. That's what Smokey the Bear says, I think. Don't know why there's a bear talking to me, but it's another topic for another video. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right here at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.